about selling your home? Well, there are certain features in a house that could make or break it. Real estate expert Daryl Baskin of the Baskin Real Estate Specialist is here with some advice. Thanks for coming Good in. Morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Welcome. Um, and first of all, let's just talk about my boyfriend right now is trying to sell his home. So there are certain features that he's trying to really soup up to uh, to really get the most bang. Good idea. You know, for his buck or whatever. So what are some good features to to look at as a real estate agent? What are you showing people? You know, the biggest feature is not really a feature. It's just clean, clean and cleared out. And when you do that alone, you make a house stand out. And there's a lot, especially right now, there are a lot of foreclosures and distressed properties where someone may, has, may not have been able to take care of it as well. So if you do those, that simple thing, take care of it uh, with cleanliness and make sure things are repaired and working, you are now in a completely different uh, competition class. Okay. So th beyond that, now when, when buyers go to look at houses, they want to see how nice it would be to live there. And you... A good real estate agent is going to point out things that are applicable to them or something that maybe they don't know how much they enjoy, you, so you have to put them in that situation. You know, nice, clean bathrooms here. There's one with a pedestal sink. That's really clean. Warm right hardwood floors. The, the warmth of that room, it just really stands out. Is hardwood pretty popular? I mean, Very it's popular. Here we have wide hallways. People don't think about the ease of getting around. Now, why would I show a picture of concrete? You took the step out. So it's now handicap accessible. So really for, for somebody wanting a special, specific need. That's Correct. Right. And it just broadens the appeal of your home. Here's one with really fantastic appliances. I kind of want that home. In a relatively normal house. Now, look at this. An $82,000 house. And what's so special about that? Outdoor living space. People think you have to have a fireplace and all these wonderful things. But look at this. It's just some paving stones that's been set up. Now neighborhood amenities, parks, and these are lifestyle options. When you buy a house, maybe you can't afford a pool. Maybe, maybe you want something bigger and better than what you can just fit in your backyard. Look at this. And, and when this is in the neighborhood, you need to really point it out because this changes the way people live. And that's, isn't that what we're buying a home for anyway? Right. It's where we're going to live and exist. And it's called quality of life. And it's just all wrapped up in that one package. So if they really wanted to soup up like a particular room, is there a particular room that's always, you know, Kitchens beneficial? and baths, always. Um, master bathrooms. You know, most of us spend most of our time in our bathroom and our kitchen. So that's where you really should focus the most. Media rooms and all these other things are really wonderful. But let's, let's think about it in reality. Many of us don't have those types of extra features. Mm -hmm. So just make it quality. People want clean quality, and they want something that's wrapped up in one package so they can buy it and move in. If you start trying to appeal if you're, to as is, and maybe as is is the best sale for you under the circumstances, but you're talking about a smaller section of the market and they want a deal. So you're really going to have to bargain on price. Yeah, so if you have all this stuff that's really nice, really clean, um, completely updated, that could really you know, set the price level a little bit higher, right? It can set it higher, but in today's market, it could actually, it, it might not be the difference of getting a whole lot more money. It may just be the difference of selling, selling. or not. And you know, for people who really need to move on, the cost of owning your home, every month you're paying some sort of expense to own your home. If you need to move that house, then you need to do some of these things and just make it the best. It's all relative. What can you buy down the street? Yours needs to be the best. Perfect. And then also on Saturday mornings, you have a show, right? On, on, uh, it's actually Saturday at noon on KRMG 102.3 FM or AM 740. Perfect. So if you want more advice, if you're looking to buy or sell a home, definitely listen to that and definitely watch our show. He's on every week. Thank you so Great. much, Daryl Baskin. My pleasure. Thank you, Lacey. And if you want to see the properties they are available uh, that are available, log on to HomeGuideTulsa.com or find out more about real estate at DarylBaskin.com. You can also give them a phone call at 918-258-2600.